put this sucker in. Yeah. yeah. Now you look like Scott too. You can hey. see the white the polar explorer, full red sled because the tundra. Is <laughs> 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 <It's so bad. laughs> You, I would follow you. <laughs> Gophers, all digging our own little home. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm in the midst of digging my snow shelter, and my regular camera died, so I'm using this one. I just wanted to show you. I'm not quite done yet. It's pretty exhausting to dig a snow shelter. You can see over there how deep they get. Um, this is mine. I've built a little stairwell for it. This let me go down. Go. <laughs> and I'm gonna sleep in this because the snow is actually quite insulating. Um, so you stay warm. And what I'm gonna do once I've got my stairwell, yep, is you sleep in here. You have your sleeping pad here. It keeps you from um, getting cold from the snow beneath you. The roof's gonna be up here. It's just easier to show you when it's not done being built yet, but I will show you the finished product. Um, we are doing snow survival field school, which is important for people in case they go into the field so you know how to survive. So this is my snow trench, and hopefully soon you'll be able to see a finished product. There we go, you can see my stairwell. Look at this, I've got a beautiful view of the mountains. Let's get back out. There we go. And <laughs> so far this ditch has probably taken me about an hour because um, it's cold so after a while your hands freeze up a little bit. And this is our field camp. It's a little kitchen area over there. There's some tents for people that don't want to sleep in the trenches. I'm going to try to do the snow trench, see how it is. And I'll finish the roof up and then show you the finished product. It's me. Go back up the stairs. I'm excited about this. I like my my little snow ditch thing. And you can also get a really great view. It's such a clear day today. I know it's a little bit sunny, so the video might be a little bit white. But it's a great view. And over there, that's Mount Erebus. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Let's see. It's actually smoking a little bit. This is a volcano. And it's smoking a little today, which is really cool. So I'm sleeping near a smoking volcano in the middle of Antarctica. And there's some other folks digging their snow trenches too. So I'll show you the finished product in just a little bit. All right, so this is my sleeping hole now that I have the roof on it. Um, you can still see the stairwell. And then going inside. And the cool thing is I have a door here that rolls shut, and, I wanna, and I'll cover the top part in snow too. And then it'll be all sealed up, and it'll stay nice and warm. I'm excited for this, I think this will be cool. All right, so I am now in my sleeping hole. Um, this is my sleeping bag, and it's probably a bit bright, but you can see the roof. And then towards the front, which I've sealed off with bags. 
and then put snow on top and a sleeping pad by the door, but the rest is covered by snow blocks. And here's my little sleeping arrangement. Let me try to, sorry, this is probably gonna block a little bit, but here I am. And I'm sleeping inside the snow in Antarctica and hoping that the roof does not fall down on me. Um, let's show these blocks a little bit more. Yep. And <laughs> this is so cool. I love this so much. But here it is. This is my sleeping hole. And even though it's very bright out, um, it's probably around 11 at night. I'm exhausted from making this hole and I'm going to go to sleep in my nice warm sleeping trench. Alright, good night.